Hello, this is Paul from Foresight Tech. In this video, let's prove theorem 3.5.1, part 1. Uh, the theorem tells us the relationship involving cross product and the dot product, okay, which is an important theorem. The first part gives us the result, uh, which is uh, the cross product that we define as a vector, right? The vector is a perpendicular or orthogonal to both vectors, okay, u and v. So, um, let's see the first and the second is very similar. Uh, we will verify the first a, and then we can prove b easily using the result a, and then another result from uh, the previous, uh, from uh, theorem 3.5.2 in the future. Okay, so let's look at b first. Okay, we prove or uh, we simple verify. Let's see. Look at it B. Okay. And then from A we can prove for B. So later we will uh, verify A. So for B uh, for B we can use theorem three point five point let me see point two. Okay. So what that uh, if a is true and then we work on this so v vector dot u cross v um should it be what we can u v we can switch okay so we can switch the order so let's switch the order uh that's a theorem so we that's the theorem 3.5.2. They have a name. Uh, when we switch, we get a negative, okay. and then the negative uh, is a negative one times, right? So we can back it out at the very beginning. So therefore, this we will get a negative v dot v cross u. Okay. So uh, this we call the anti community. Okay. The cross product is not a commutative, it's anti commutative. We have a negative there, so we call anti commutative. Yeah, and then we can use the first. See, uh, this is a vector, is on the first vector, right? The first vector cross and then dot, the first vector should be a zero, right? So, therefore, this is zero. And by the first part of it. Yeah, so that's good. It means if A is true and then B quickly is true, right? So now let's verify why A is true. So this time we definitely need to just do calculation because we know the definition of the cross product and then we know the definition of the dot. Okay, so we just do calculation. So first, now look at A. Um, first, uh, let's set up uh, U is this vector, U1, U2, U3, and then V vector is uh, V, uh, sorry. Uh, let's say V1, V2, and V3. Uh, this is in three space because the cross product is defined in three space only. And then we'll look at a u cross v. What is a u cross v? So now we find u uh, cross v first. The definition, uh, that's a vector. Okay? The first component is this. We don't have the first kind of, don't have a u1, don't have v1, therefore, uh, it's a u2, u3, v2, v3, right? It's the first component, the second. We don't have the second uh, component. So this is a u1, u3, and v1, v3. Okay. And then the third, we don't have a u3 and v3. Therefore, it's a u1, u2, v1, and v2. 
Okay, so this is a two by two determinant that we easily to do the calculation. Therefore, uh, I can find <clears throat> the first is u two v three minus u three v two. The the second we have negative. Therefore, is u three v one right? So u three v one minus u one v three u one v three. The last is u one v two. It's u1 v2 minus u2 v1. Okay, so almost. And then uh, we need to use this uh, dot uh, the back of the u, right? So now I think it's uh, easy to get. So now u back of the dot is across the product. Uh, the dot product is uh, the sum of uh, products, right? So u1 times the first, that's c, uh, which is a u1 times the first term. And then plus u2 times the second term. And then plus u3, right, times the third term. The third term is u1 v2 minus u2 v1. Okay, and then uh, we expand, see, distribute now, it's easy. For each term we distribute, we should have six terms, right? It's okay, so that's right. So u1, u2, v3, the first. u1, oops, uh, u3, v2, the third, u2, U three V one. The fourth U two U one V three. The fifth U three U one sorry. U one V two. The last U three U two V one. Okay, so now let's see the first term. Mm, can we cancel u1, u2, u1, u2, v3? You can see, and the this will be cancel because of a positive or negative, right? And then we'll look at the second term. <clears throat> u1, u3, u1, u3, v2. Yeah, see, positive or negative, and we just cancel, cancel this term. Uh, the last, so look at this term, and this term are the same, right? Opposite. u2, u3, u2, u3, v1. Definitely we cancel. We cancel everything. So what do we have? Uh, we have a zero. Okay, so the answer is zero. Uh, zero means what? Uh, means the cross product is uh, perpendicular or orthogonal to u, right? Okay, so that's the proof for this theorem. Yeah, thank you.